I'll be damned. You actually did it. Nuka World is ours. All of it. Why are you acting surprised? Hey, no disrespect, boss. You've just got to understand. We ain't ever been on ground this solid before. Now that we're here, let's keep this party going. I'm thinking it's time we set our sights on the Commonwealth. Aiming pretty high, aren't you, Gage? Why stop there? Why not take over the moon while we're at it? <laughs> nah, the little green men can keep that one. Taking back Nuka World is a big friggin' deal, no question. But it can't be the end of things. Needs to be a beginning. These bunch of savages need a goal, something to focus on. If they ain't got it, they'll wind up turning on each other. In an operation this big, we're gonna need more of, well, everything. Nobody's gonna hand it to us. We need to take it. Commonwealth has a ton of shitty little settlements that could be put to better use. Don't you think? Oh, nuts. I was just starting to get cozy in my little castle. Now you're starting to sound like Coulter. You remember? The idiot whose body we recently dumped into the river? He was always content to just barely scrape by. Look where that got him. We don't gotta rush into this headlong. We take it slow. Be smart about it. If we're aiming to grab a piece of the Commonwealth, it's going to take the right contacts and a lot of muscle. Right? I say we go have ourselves a chat with Shank. He's the point man for everything entering and leaving Nuka World. He floated this idea before. Been itching to talk to you ever since you took over. So I bet he's got a good idea of where to start. He's in charge of the caravan, so odds are you can find him somewhere near the marketplace. What's he gonna do? Show me how to milk a Brahmin? Maybe. If you ask him nicely, just head over and talk to the guy. He'll back up what I'm saying about the Commonwealth. And while you're doing that, I've already got the gangs working on getting Nuka World's power plant up and running. It's about time we shed some real light around here and let people know we mean serious business. Oh, and if you want my advice, or if you want me to tag along, you got it. I know it's close. It has to be. Just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, you had to turn up. You really should rethink where you stand. Unless you're a fan of watching your back. Luck, it's been real busy lately. I guess things are going well. Well, look who it is. Liking what you've done with the place, boss. Gangs certainly seem pleased with their new little kingdoms. Haven't seen people this revved up since last time someone spiked the water fountains. Never formally introduced myself. Name's Shank. And if you're standing here, well, I suppose Gage figured you might be the one to finally get things back on track. How long it take him to convince you it was time to move on the Commonwealth? And what makes you think I've been convinced? Well, if you aren't yet, you sure as hell should be. Giving the gang spots to call their own around the park, it bought you some goodwill. But providing them with their own domains, carved from the settlements of the Commonwealth, well, I can't think of a better way to solidify your place around here. Plus, make us all a pretty penny along the way. If that interests you, well... All you've got to do is say the word, and we can let the fun begin. If I'm gonna do this, I don't want to hurt people. <laughs> no fun in that. But look, you're the overboss. You decide you want to sweet-talk the poor sods we're gonna be dealing with instead of filling them full of lead? That's up to you. 
But I can't change the fact that you're gonna have to run some people out of their homes so we can give them to the gangs. No one said being boss was gonna be easy. Now, you just say if this is something you're ready to move on. I wanted to ask about your role in this. I'm listening. Which gang do you work for? Don't work for the gangs. Gage brought me in to work for the Overboss. Plan was I'd advise Coulter and his grand scheme to run roughshod over the Commonwealth. And, despite Coulter's change of heart, I've kept my ear to the ground, just in case that day ever came. I'm hoping today might finally be it. What is it that you get out of helping me do this? I've been well taken care of up to this point. I ain't greedy, but people with my kind of talents aren't common. All I'm looking for is a continuation of the lifestyle I've become accustomed to. And the same piece of the Commonwealth pie everyone else around here has been itching to take a bite of. That was all I had. So, does that mean you're ready to begin? I wanted to ask. I'm listening. So, what exactly is it you do? I'll walk you through all the ins and outs of getting us established on the other side of those mountains. Claiming territory, running jobs keeping folks loyal. Gage and Coulter also tasked me with keeping on top of the goings-on back there, so I'll provide you with guidance on the places we can hit and the places we can't. Kind of makes me your one-stop shop for causing havoc in the Commonwealth. That was all I had. So, does that mean you're ready to begin? Okay, let's get started. Music to my ears. So getting us set up in the Commonwealth is going to require three things. Territory, provisions, and loyalty. First things first, territory. We're going to need to claim a settlement for our gang to work from, an outpost. And there are two ways to claim new territory. You can head in yourself and convince the locals to leave. Or I can get a crew together and you all can put them in the dirt. How you do it is up to you. So... First big decision. You want to talk them off their land? Or you want to wipe them out? <laughs> Is there a difference between the approaches? Well, settlers will probably rally some bodies if you try and wipe them out. But it's a guaranteed way to claim a spot. If you try to scare them off their land, there's a chance they might just tell you to take a hike. At that point, you might be able to buy them off. But, it could end up getting expensive if you don't work them over a bit first. Beyond just that, there are some places out there overrun with trouble. Ghouls, children of Adam and the like. Those places aren't going to be interested in having a chat. So you're going to have more options if you go in guns blazing. Get a gang together. Those settlers are as good as dead. Ha. <laughs> Stick with the classics. Now, once you and the crew have cleaned the place out, those lucky girls and boys will move in and start working the place. Of course, every outpost you claim for a gang is going to be something the other gangs don't have. And none of them like the thought of their rivals getting a leg up on them. Worth thinking over as you dole out more territory. So... Which gang you want to join you on the job? The operators. Got it. I'm sure they'll appreciate you thinking of them. That just leaves the target. Now for a new outpost, you'll usually want to target a spot with plenty of populated settlements nearby that might be able to feed our people later on. Taffington Boathouse, Croup Manor, Greentop Nursery, the Slog all had a good number of farms within striking distance last I checked. Though I'll need to go through my notes again. Make sure they're all still good to target. We're not always going to be able to run every job against every settlement. So, you ready to pick the spot for Nuka World's first new homestead? We can't target certain settlements with certain jobs? Unfortunately. Can't talk people off their land if there's no one around to talk to and the like. Most cases, 
I'll try to let you know why we can't target a place, but the biggest hindrance is if there's already some activity going on there. Though if that is the case, that Pip-Boy of yours might be able to give you some info on whatever might be blocking us hitting that spot. Now, you ready to pick that first settlement? What were those targets you'd recommended before? Croup Manor? Again, I can't guarantee... Now you ready to make your decision? I'm ready. Good. So, what's the target? Let me... Wait, pretty sure that place is one of yours, boss. That's where you want to hit? Does that matter? Only if you want to keep control of it. Targeting a settlement for a job is going to break whatever connections you might have had to the place. Worth taking a moment to consider how much you like having that spot under your thumb. So, that the target? Don't you ever question me. Of course not, boss. So, these sorts of jobs are pretty straightforward. Move in, kill everything in sight. Be a couple of our guys waiting for you when you arrive. Help you clean the place out. Now you're not gonna be able to take a direct route to the place. Fast way to get yourself killed. So you'll have to meet our folks outside town. Wouldn't be surprised if some Minutemen showed up to lend a hand. Wish I could see their faces when they see who they're going up against. Now, if you're looking for something to give you an extra edge, might be worth checking in with some of the gang bosses. <laughs> Probably got some trick or two up their sleeves. The crew that's joining you is just gonna have standard kits though. If you want to arm them up differently, I'd take along some extra gear. Give those settlers hell. Life too short for bullshit. Yeah. 